Hey, it's been a while, but Bug Out Moto is back. New van build video. It's time to upgrade my Ultimate DIY Stealth Moto camper van with an additional solar system. So my van will now have three separate solar systems. And this new solar system that I'll be installing today in this video will be a power station for my new 50 mile per hour e-bike motorcycle and power my new 700 watt mini microwave and new induction stove cooktop all thanks to this new amazing lead time 12 volt 320 amp hour mini battery big power for a tight space in my little closet giving my van a total of 620 amp hours of battery power so in this video we will be installing two new bifacial solar panels a 380 watt and 140 watt solar panel giving my van a total of 840 watts of solar panels on the roof also installing a new 50 amp MPPT solar controller and a new 3500 watt inverter. Also what makes this all possible is installing this new lead time 12 volt 320 amp hour mini battery in my little closet. And we'll be testing this new system out with my new 700 watt mini microwave and induction cooktop and charging my new 72 volt e-bike. Let's get started. Bug Out Moto, you are watching my Bug Out Van Build Series. Be sure to check out my Bug Out Van Build Series. Video links are in the description section of this video. For those of you guys that don't know, this is a 2004 Chevy Express 3500 that I converted into a camper van that accommodates a motorcycle inside and allows me to travel the country with my motorcycle comfortably inside the van. I did this back in 2015. I've taken multiple trips across the country uh, with my motorcycle and it's been really awesome. And this is everything that'll be installed in the van today for this solar system and what makes this possible is this new lead time 12 volt 320 amp hour mini bluetooth lithium battery 31 percent smaller than your typical 12 volt 300 amp hour batteries it's like three 100 amp hour batteries in one small package this battery is 55 percent lighter weight than three 100 amp hour lead acid batteries look at this it came in at 53 pounds is this amazing or what by the way i have a link to get 6% off on this battery with a discount code and link in the description and comment section of this video along with links to all my other stuff shown in this video. Here's everything laid out that I'll be installing in the van for this solar system today. Links to everything is in the description and comment section of this video. Okay, getting up here on the roof, this is my Alu rack, a lightweight aluminum rack and you have to use a rack when putting up a solar system guys. Do not try to mount uh, flexible panels directly to the top of the van like I did in the past because the solar panels will eventually fail. Uh, this rack is absolutely awesome. I already installed that 380 watt bifacial solar panel at the top right and that goes with the new lead time battery in the new system. Uh, the 320 watt solar panel was to the left. I already had that installed on the van. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to install that 140 watt bifacial thin solar panel that we have right here. And I'm going to be putting it in that space that you saw at the top of the van. So we have to install Z brackets on this solar panel. So we're going to have to put this on top of the roof of the van and mark the points uh, that correspond with the ribs on the roof uh, so we can install the Z brackets. As you see here, those are the Z brackets already on that 380 watt bifacial solar panel. So we're going to be doing the exact same thing for this 140 watt solar panel. So the first thing to do is to go ahead and mark the points on this solar panel so that we can go ahead and uh, drill holes and put the Z brackets on this solar panel. Before you drill, make sure to use a piece of scrap wood underneath there because when you drill, you don't want to drill into the solar panel. Uh, so I'll go ahead and drill the holes for the Z brackets and install the Z brackets. And here the Z brackets are installed. So let's go ahead and put this up on top of the van rack. So once you have it in position on the rack and you go ahead and just take a marker and mark the Z bracket hole where you want to install it on the rack then just go ahead and simply drill the hole and install the hardware I'll spare you the boring part of installing the Z brackets and hardware so everything's installed here we have three totally different size solar panels 
but three totally different solar systems. We have the 320 watt solar panel on the left that powers 200 amp hours of batteries for the one solar system in the center of the van. And then we have the new 380 watt bifacial solar panel there at the top right. That powers a new uh, lead time 12 volt 320 amp hour mini battery. And we have that slim 140 watt solar panel powering the third solar system, which is a 100 amp hour battery solar system. Okay, now I connected all the wires and you route them down to where the tail light is on the left side. And then there is a hole there that allows you to put the wires inside the van. Very simple. And then just go ahead and reinstall the tail light. Okay, I already routed the wires to the cabinet for the new solar system. Now we need to put the new lead time 12 volt 320 amp hour mini battery in the closet. Now I'll tell you guys, you couldn't do this a few years ago. Uh, this is new technology, but this fits perfect here in this small closet. And see that handle bracket actually creates a space between my amplifier and the battery. And I'm using these L brackets to hold the battery in position so it doesn't move. One in the front and one on the side. And that battery will not budge. Uh, with those L brackets in place and of course I'm only uh, screwing into the wood below not into the battery case as you can see there no movement okay now this is where I'm gonna place the 50 amp MPPT solar controller which I'm just gonna screw that up there which I already did and there's the uh, 50 amp breaker switch underneath and that breaks the positive wire that goes to the battery and this is a fuse box I have a fuse box for each solar system. As you can see, there's the two other solar systems, one for the 100 amp hour battery, one for the 200 amp hour battery, and this one for the 320 amp hour lead time battery. Uh, so it's installed there. So if one system fails, I can take wires and connect it to another fuse box for the other solar system. And I had to do that once, so it's awesome to have a backup solar system. And there is the 3500 pure sine wave inverter. Uh, and that is the 300 amp breaker for that inverter. So I went ahead and connected everything up and screwed down that inverter. And this device here is awesome to attach the copper lugs for the end of the wire, the connectors. Um, I usually use a crimp tool, but I like this better than a crimp tool. And then, of course, you have the heat shrink there, and you just take uh, some sort of heating device, like uh, you can use a blow dryer, or of course, you use uh, you know the blower like I have right here that's made for this, and uh, heat that up so it's nice and clean, and that's what it looks like, nice and crispy clean there. And uh, everything's connected here, so this is what it looks like with my new solar system connected, nice and clean. And this would absolutely not be possible without that new lead time 320 amp hour mini battery. It's like three 100 amp hour batteries in that small package that can fit in that small space, which is absolutely amazing. And lead time makes absolutely high quality batteries. As you can see there, I have a fuse box for each solar system. So if one fails, I just remove wires from one solar system and put it to the next solar system. Now here is the lead time app on my phone, which is really awesome. It has Bluetooth 5.0 and uh, it gives you all the information you need there. Now let's go ahead and install my new microwave and see how much power it uses. Okay, here's my new mini microwave, 700 watts, 0 0.7 cubic feet. It even has a turntable. Let's go ahead and connect the microwave to my 3500 watt pure sine wave inverter, which should handle it no problem. We're going to put in a potato and we're going to bake it here in the microwave. We'll put it on six minutes. Okay, the potato is done cooking. Let's see how it came out. And I'm wondering how much power this microwave used from the new lead time 12 volt 320 amp hour mini battery. The potato came out perfect. Now let's check the lead time map to see how much power this microwave used. All right. 
It only used 3% of the battery. That's awesome. I also tested this new battery with my dual cooktop induction burner. And I boiled two pots of water to see how much power it used. And this was with a freshly charged battery. And as you can see, it only used 6%. Nice. And I also put this new compact powerful battery to the test by charging my new 72 volt e-bike that has 33 amp hours of batteries on it. It charged beautifully, but I didn't get a chance to test and see how much power it used. But it fully charged the bike beautifully with plenty of power left. Okay, now I have three different solar systems. This one here is a 100 amp hour self-heating battery with a 20 amp MPPT solar controller and a 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter all being powered by a 140 watt bifacial monocrystalline solar panel. And this system here is two 100 amp hour self-heating batteries a 40 amp MPPT solar controller and a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter all being powered by a 320 watt monocrystalline solar panel. And last but not least, my third solar system, the new system, mainly a charge station for my new e-bike, is the new lead time 320 amp hour mini battery 50 amp MPPT solar controller, the 3500 watt pure sine wave inverter, and this is all being powered by a 380 watt bifacial monocrystalline solar panel and all three separate systems have their own fuse box and all appliances are interchangeable with the three solar systems. I have to give props to Lee Time for this amazing mini 320 amp hour battery. This small battery that can fit in that tight space but has big power. It's awesome, great for RVs, van, marine use and off grid living. Has a host of features, 200 amp BMS, it's got low temp cutoff, 30 second auto recovery, a host of features. Uh, if you want to get a 6% discount off on this, use my discount code and link in the description and comment section of the video. And by the way, Lead Time also makes a 100 amp hour self-heating battery like I have, where you never have to worry about it being too cold for it to accept a charge because it will self-heat once it hits a certain temperature. You can also get a 6% discount on these as well with the link in the description and comment section of this video. And of course, I have links to everything else. I got another build video coming with a bunch of other stuff for the van because I'm preparing for a trip to go to the mountains to find some bug out land to buy and uh, some tiny homes to check out and everything else. So make sure to stay tuned. Hit thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos come out. Deuces.